Hello, I'm Rob in collaboration with Mile High United Way. In this series, I will show you how to use a computer from the most basic skills to those necessary to start incorporating computer use in your daily life. These videos will also empower you to help your children with their online homework. Sometimes life demands that we transform ourselves and learn a new skill. Technology and computer use can be overwhelming or scary, but these videos are designed for those with little or no experience with computers. Welcome to Using a Computer with Ease. We won't be demonstrating all uses of a computer, only the basics so you can understand the layout of a computer and feel more comfortable using it. In this video, you will get a better understanding of the point of contact between yourself and the computer, the cursor. If the computer screen were a map, the cursor would be the X, marking you are here. In fact, it helps to think of the cursor as an extension of yourself inside the computer. Ah, yes, there we go. In the history of computers, touch screens are very new. Before, we had to have a way to select on the screen without touching it. Also, a computer screen is much bigger than a phone and displays much more information, which makes a cursor very useful. There are four types of cursor that you should become familiar with. First, let's go back to the point of the cursor marking you are here. For that reason, a normal cursor takes the form of an arrow, which we call a pointer. The pointer also helps with precision when clicking. With certain buttons, but not all, your cursor will transform into a pointing hand. This indicates that there is a button where you have your cursor that you can click. If you are looking for buttons on an internet page to take you to another page, this can be very useful to help you discover options. If you are typing, your cursor will transform again into the typing cursor. It looks like a capital I and helps you select where you want to begin typing. Be careful, it's not enough to position the typing cursor where you want to type. You have to click so that a blinking vertical line appears. While you are typing, this line becomes the you are here marker. The typing cursor is used to insert the line specifically where you want it, again, with a click. Sometimes your computer needs an extra moment to think before performing the last command. In this case, the cursor will transform into some type of clock. Sometimes it's an hourglass. Sometimes it's a spinning wheel. There are many styles, but they all indicate that you should wait until your computer has caught up with your last command. This line of thinking as if you were part of the computer, represented by the cursor, helps make you feel more capable of controlling it. Just remember, you are here. 